let's see. I think I'll take you today. I'll also be taking you today. So it seems that every time I attempt to film a video for YouTube, either I end up getting rained out or I end up getting some bad content with no fishing whatsoever. So let's hope that today is the day that I will not get you guys some bad content because weather so far has been, hey, it's hanging in there. I'm hoping that today I might finally catch a bass. It's been a while. Uh, definitely has been over like a week since I've been able to attempt to, to film a video for YouTube. So I'm really hoping this might be the chance. And this is the pond. This pond carries all the juice and that looks like a road runner. I don't know, you guys tell me, is that a road runner? Oh dude, I think it is a road runner. Whoa. I didn't know we had road runners in Kansas. So since I haven't been able to catch a proper fish in a while, I decided to come by and stop, kind of cheat a little bit, because this pond right here is a neighborhood slash park pond. And uh, well, it's got some pretty decent sized bass in here and they're not that hard to catch. So I decided to uh, probably cheat a little bit and give this a go. Basically where I'm at right now is, oh look, someone's been fishing. All right, so where I'm at right now is called Thomas Stoll Park. Uh, might not have heard of it, because I definitely didn't. I didn't even know it existed, and I my, my college is like not even adjacent to these houses. It's like right next door, pretty much. And I've been going there for like about a year, and I didn't even know it existed. So now I do though, and I'm really glad I did, because this is the place that's been catching me most of my fishes and my personal best. And I just love this pond. This is why I call it cheating because it's just so easy to fish. If you guys want to come check out this pond, definitely do. It's a great pond. Uh, not too hard to access, I would say, as far as ponds go. And if you live in Kansas, you know, some of these ponds are pretty much farm ponds and you can't really access them at all. Uh, a little disclaimer though, it is really mossy. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm not even wearing my polarized glasses and uh, I could see a lot of grass down there right now. Usually not this clear, but these clouds just all of a sudden rolled back in and uh, I'm not enjoying them at all. I decided to give it a shot since I finally had a little bit of a chance to actually fish. It's a little break. It's like, it's like a hurricane, you know, it's like, oh my God, there we go. Oh, bass on, bass on. Okay, you guys see? Woo, nice little bass. Okay, I'm gonna assume the top water conditions are great at this pond right now. All right, calm down there, buddy. Oh, he double hooked himself too. Jeez, how do you do that, buddy? Well, as far as bass go in this pond, this, this is not bad. It's pretty decent. So I'm gonna let this guy go real quick, but first let me get a picture for fish brain. Okay, now time for the glorious release. I love these little rocks that the Soul Park has put up here. It's pretty amazing. Allows you to get a little bit closer with the fish, you know. There it goes. Alright, back to fishing. And uh so apparently. And from what I've seen and I, what I've been able to do is that I've been using this Bullet Pop 70 from Berkeley. Really great, really, really great uh, popper and topwater lure in general. For those of you that know about fishing and all that, you know that poppers are really great, uh, great lures for summertime, early summertime, late springtime. Just really great lures. And uh, basically I got, I got the biggest size they offered at my local Bass Pro Shop. So this is probably the biggest. But look at this. I got the, I think it's called the Shad Color. I don't even know what it's called. Oh, I'm sorry, Bullet Pop 80. And what I got rocking here as my rig is the uh, Quantum PT Accurist uh, AC101 HPT. I don't know. I don't know how to read these reels. And basically it's a seven, seven zero to one gear ratio. Uh, I got strapped on here some 17 pound mono so I can make this bait 
stay up above the water. So that's why mono is really great for top water because it really doesn't sink. Oh, there we go. Oh, second bass. Oh, it's a decent one. It's a decent one. Whoa, did you guys see that? Oh my God. Oh my God, it's a Mondo. No way. Dude, that's a slunch. That is a slunch of a fish. No way. Woo. Oh my God, he smoked that bait. Oh my God, I could feel, oh my God, stop spinning. Jeez, look at this fish, guys. I'm telling you, this place is so easy to fish. Uh, it's just like, it's super easy. If you guys are a beginning fisherman and want to fish some of these Kansas waters and live in the KC metro area, definitely come check out Stull Park. Really great overall park to fish. Really small pond, so that's what makes it easier. You got some pretty good quality fish in here. And not many people know about it, but the people that do, they usually like to fish it a lot because they know it's super easy to fish. And uh, it's got some pretty great fish, like I've said so many times right now. All right, time for the release. Gosh, decent sized bass. All right. Putting her back in the water. Or him, I, I don't know. I don't discriminate against bass whatsoever. Whatever type of bass you are, I'm so sorry. If you're watching this video again, I apologize if I've hurt your feelings. So, gonna get back out there. Ah, oh, great. If you guys are wondering how I'm fishing this, uh, this popper right here, it's basically making the popper like walk, making it into a walking bait instead of actually popping. And uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm using a medium heavy uh, fast action tip rod. And basically what that means is that this tip rod is really flexible. So it bends really easily. And that's what you're looking for if you're trying to make this bait walk. Basically, I'm casting it out there as far as I can. And I'm just giving it a couple jerks, light jerks. I'm not making the popper pop itself. Of course, there's gonna be some popping action in there, but I'm making it walk. So I'm giving it like really light taps and making your tip really work for you. And uh, basically what it's gonna do, it's gonna give it that walking action. But since right now it's actually, it's not cold, but it's kind of chilly out here. So the water temperature is not that, that warm yet. So these bass are still a little, little, uh, a little bit still, a little bit stiff, you know, they don't want to move too much. And uh, basically it helps the bait stay in the strike zone a little bit longer. It really doesn't matter how many times you do it. I do random pops, but I like to do one, two, one, one, two, one. Usually is my tactic, or one, two, three sometimes. But I'm, I'm usually with just more than nothing going randomly at this. Really doesn't matter how you pop it. As long as you pause for at least two to three seconds and then pop it again. Give the bass a little bit of time to look at it and pop it again how many times you want. I might actually end up moving down. I don't know where these bass might have moved, but they might have, they might know what we're up to now since they don't want to bite this floor over here. We'll give it one more cast out here, probably catch a small one. Cause all, like I said, all the small ones like to fish, uh, hang around here. But no, nah, we're gonna move down there and I'm gonna show you guys the area where I usually like to fish. Here we are, the infamous Stoll Park ledge. I mean, cast out there. That's definitely the deepest area right there. So they're gonna be anywhere. That's where they're gonna be. Give her a cast out there. There we go. All right, there we go. So apparently it's not about the pauses. Oh, it kind of is about the pauses, but there we go. Nice little guy. I feel like I've caught you before in this exact same area. And don't hook me. Oh shoot, I, didn't, I forgot to do the release. I'm sorry. Bye, buddy. All right. Wow. All right. This is in this channel. We're all about overachieving and all that stuff. Let's do one more cast. I don't care if I'm running out of battery. Actually, I kind of do because I'm wanting to see this. But we're going to do one more cast out there. Hopefully, we don't run out of battery. All right. So before my battery dies, I just want to say goodbye to you guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching today's video. 
Um, I really hope you enjoy this content. Hopefully you learned some new things today. I definitely did. See, I'm learning and growing as I go and try to show you guys these new tips and tricks. So this is why I love doing this. This is why I love fishing and everything in general about fishing, just being out here in the outdoors. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, comment, share with your friends. And uh, do me a favor, guys. Don't stop venturing. How are you doing, buddy? Where are you going? Tight lines. You're leaving? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying tight lines. <laughs>